Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I am absolutely desperate for so many things around the house that I thought I would do a home bargains shop with me today. Haven't done one of these for a little while. Feel like there's gonna be a ton of Easter stuff in there, Mother's Day stuff. I'm there for the cleaning stuff. We've run out of color catchers, laundry detergent, toothpaste, like just all the bits. I'm like, every time I go to open the drawer, I'm like, oh, we need to get more of that. So I thought I would take you along and show you what's new in Home Bargains. Hope you enjoy the video. Do give it a like if you enjoy it. And also subscribe if you're new here because about 70% of the people that watched the last come shop with me to Home Bargains are not subscribed to my channel. So I'd absolutely love it if you wanted to stick around. I upload three times a week. We've just moved into our first home, so I'm sharing loads of homey content, loads of organization. That's another thing I need to get today. I need to look at their storage because I know they've got an amazing storage section and there's just so many cupboards in this house. We're not used to it. We don't ever really have, like before we didn't really have any storage or anything. So now I'm like, oh, I need to organize the storage. So anyway, stop waffling, Lara. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Look at these, these are nice. 99.99, is that for two? It's a two piece wicket, that's really nice for the little patio. What do you think? Yeah. What's oh, that for? Oh, it's for children. Who's going in there? Oh, yeah, look, that's... outside rugs as well. They had these last year. That might be worth a little look at. Depends how big they are. 150 cents. £20. Yeah. I quite like the light ones. Well, that's, uh... I really like that, those chairs. Oh, what have we got here, baby? My never ending search. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm searching for here. <laughs> you could make such a nice little hamper up with some of the bits in here for Mother's Day. I'm just working out here that the bigger one is cheaper, so I don't know what's going on there, but I went for the bigger one just so that I save some money. Um, also, haven't seen these before, they look pretty cool. These vitamins are really good value actually, They, I think you say about three pounds. All the Easter stuff, lots of chocolate obviously, and then some like kind of teddies, and, and I thought this little tutu was really cute. If you have someone that likes to wear tutus, yeah, so there's lots of like, Easter gift bags now, like we've got to give gifts at Easter as well. So many gift things. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you these little bits here. It won't be long and we'll have Easter. I do feel like there will be more Easter stuff in soon because there wasn't like loads. It was like a whole row, but not tons. Some really cute little decorations. So I am looking forward to doing a few little Easter crafts here in the new house. But this made me laugh. It's like completely like other end of the spectrum. A Pledge, which they obviously bought in thinking it might snow, but we've not had any snow this year down in the south. I don't think we will do now. <gasps> this is cute. It's giving me Lydia Millen vibes if you follow her. Uh, that looks really expensive. I wasn't sure about that though. That was a bit more like kind of tinfoil, <laughs> wearing tinfoil to bed. But yeah, lots of clothes in here at the moment and lots of snuggly things and pyjamas, which I thought would make a really nice Mother's Day present. You could do a little hamper out, little bundle. And there's some little children's ones as well if you'd rather clothes than chocolate and toys and also more friends stuff i feel like friends is everywhere they've got a huge range in primark as well a few bits for the garden i've got to get some bits for the garden soon but i'm going to wait a little while i think a few more little gifts here i actually thought that was the yankee candle then and then i realized it was their wicker i can't remember what it's called their brand but that was a really sweet little gift as well that one was 3.99 and yeah, just more gifts and presents. Maybe there is a lot of Mother's Day stuff actually, more than there is Easter, thinking about it, looking at it. But obviously Mother's Day is this month. I thought these might be quite sweet as well for all year round flowers. I wasn't sure how realistic they looked, but I thought they looked quite nice. More pyjamas. And then I'm just gonna scoot down this little aisle here and show you, this is like the everyday stuff. They always have this in, but I hadn't spotted these before. Badge making like fizzers, like bath fizzers, but also badges, which you could paint, I wasn't quite sure. Stuart was just pointing out here that the price there, 49p, isn't for what that is, and actually they were £1.49, 
So don't get caught out, make sure you're looking at the right prices because he almost bought lots of those thinking it was a good deal. Calpol and Neurofem we've run out of and we always get it from here because it is much cheaper and we just it's just one of those things you have stocked up in the cupboard. I thought these were so cute. Look how cute would that be, would be filled with mini eggs, but five pounds I thought was quite pricey. I don't know, what do you think? Any exercise stuff here? There's loads of stuff in here at the moment for exercise, obviously, new year, new me. Um, I actually call this a heated hula hoop. <laughs> then realized it was weighted hula hoop. Uh, that looks quite fun. I've actually had to turn the sound off and do a voiceover for you because they have loads of music on in the store and it's all copywritten, so I won't be able to share it on YouTube. So here I am doing a voiceover after being to the shop. Garden stuff, I love this sort of stuff, but again, I just feel like we wanna live in the garden a little bit while it's when it gets sunny before we commit to buying things, like blankets and things. Now this really caught my eye, so 7 99 and I thought it'd look really nice in our living room where we have a fireplace, but it's actually a gas fireplace. It's not a coal or log one. Um, so I thought that might look nice as a little decorative thing. And this is the tray that I did an upcycle on, um, $3.99. That's really nice to do little sort of DIYs on. I've got loads of DIY videos on my channel. If you haven't watched any of them, I do love doing them. So let me know if you want to see more video did did videos and videos like that. And then just getting some essentials here for the house, lots of cleaning stuff and just bits and bobs. I'm on the hunt for some microfiber cloths and a magic eraser. These look quite nice, but you have to be careful how much heat they're like emitting to the environment. Not sure how good they are for the environment, but good for keeping yourself warm outside. Now I'm gonna get some water bottles for the children because their lids, I mean, they just decay, decay, erode off over time. You know, they go bad. So I'm gonna get the boys a couple of these ones, but I always make sure I don't get the ones with this difficult to clean spouts. A little cat bed for Maggie. And then toasters and kettles. They had quite a good range in here. Looking to get some toasters, some new toaster and kettles, because ours are very old and they probably don't really go with the new kitchen. But again, one of those things that we'll just have to save up for because we can't afford to buy it at the moment. But I thought I'd show you these because there's loads of different stuff here, especially those slow cookers, they're really good. Now, the Holy Grail, onto some storage. I think they've got such good storage options in Home Bargains and really good for home organization. So I thought I'd just show you some of these. I really love these colors. So these actually caught my eye for our bathroom, which I really want to do some home organization on. So let me know if you want that video while I do it. Um, and I thought they might be more expensive in Ikea, so I did pick them up here ahead of my trip to Ikea soon. And just some bits and bobs for the bathroom, I was going to say the garden then, some bits for the bathroom and some more storage. I got these for our bedroom, so my kind of sock drawer basically, um, but I wanted to see which other shapes and sizes they had because I feel like my sock drawer is just a bit of a mess, so it's good to get something like this to organise it all, but I'll show you how I do that if you want to see that video. A few little bits here, pyjamas and bedding, things like that. I'm not going to show you the toys just because they're kind of in all year round. I just want to show you more of like the what's new in home bargains and things like that. And oh my gosh, this caught my eye. My friend Brogan just got engaged. And I thought that'd be really cute, a little Mr. and Mini, Mr. and Mrs. Mini mug. Some homey bits here, some kitchen stuff. And we really, really would like a fruit bowl because when it's in the cupboards, the boys just don't eat it. As soon as I put it on the side, they literally eat so much fruit. So I'm gonna try and find a nice one. I wasn't too keen on those ones. Uh, but yeah, I do want to find a nice fruit bowl. And this little jug, I loved it last time it was in here. $5.99 though, I think it's a bit steep, although it is pretty. And if you were to buy like a Sophie, what's she called? Sophie Allsop or something like that? Sophie something? Uh, it would be like £25. So I think that is good value. But for me at the moment, I just couldn't kind of stretch to it. I don't need it. I just really want it. So I think in the summer, because I think that actually looked nice with some flowers in. I just spotted some 19 Grimes in there as well, our favourite wine. So crazy to think that's in home bargains now it's everywhere now onto these mirrors this one caught my eye it's beautiful the little kind of picture frame picture mirror 24.99 definitely something i would go back for uh, when we can afford it but not at the moment i'm just trying to really be picky with what we're buying and these lamps looked amazing as well i'm really the house kind of style is kind of industrial modern and i feel like there's lots of really nice pieces in here, like this lamp here is perfect for the lounge um, and maybe even in the kitchen room. They've got some stand-up lamps, some table lamps 
and I'll show you in a minute some really cool bar carts. They look really cool. Uh, but again, just things that we don't necessarily need at the moment. These ones are really cool, 9.99. Uh, that would look really nice in my dining room actually. But yeah, things I don't need at the moment, but I definitely will come back for if they're still in once we're back on our feet. These are the clothes, I just thought I'd span this a little bit quickly here. They had them at the back of the store last time I was here months ago, so they obviously move them around. And a few little bits like this for the garden. I'm really into this kind of fluted glass, do we call it? Fluted or something like that. I really love the style of it. I think I would have liked that if it was a clear glass. Uh, $4.99 now I thought was a little bit expensive. Again, you'd spend way more money in other shops, but for now, not for me. And then some bits here. So these bar stools caught my eye. They would look nice if you had an island or somewhere like that in your kitchen. I'm not sure about the velvet though, because that won't last very long with people eating and waving their hands on it, or maybe that's just my children. And then these bar carts, I love $29.99. I definitely think I'd be interested in that black one, which would go nicely with my Ikea sort of shelving unit but I'm going to paint that black I think so that would all tie in nicely and then that sort of goes over the table as well or sorry over the sofa so loads of lovely bits in here and lots of bits that caught my eye a few little bits over here the nice little teddy bear hampers they're still in there and then another drinks trolley there for $19.99 if you prefer that shape and I really love that like scallop detail as well so yeah loads in there Right, we're home. You're not going to see me, are you? Um, I'm sorry if it's really echoey in here. It's just the nature of the room. I need to get my mic battery sorted. Um, let me show you what we've got. A little Home Bargains haul. I haven't done a Home Bargains, Bargains haul for like ever, like maybe five years ago. <laughs> Uh, because obviously you don't really do many hauls over here, but I think with something like Home Bargains, it's so much more affordable. Like most of the things we bought were so much more affordable. I did buy some storage because I really desperately need it. And I was gonna get it from Ikea, but I feel like actually it's probably cheaper from in here. So I'll show you what I've got there and the bits and bobs for the house. And then I'll show you how much I spent. Uh, but yeah, I don't really do this very often. I probably be, I haven't been to Home Bargains actually. I was just trying to remember as to when the last time I went was, because. When we got to the end, we were like, oh, that's so much money. But we've got loads of stuff and we save loads of money. So that's the important thing. It's not about not always, like never spending money. It's just obviously doing it more frugal way when you do spend money. The Stu is actually training for, Ooh. tell us what it is, because I can't even bear to think about how far it is. It is London to Edinburgh, then back to London. And we've got to do it in five days. So we have to ride about 180 miles a day. It works out, it's like 900 odd. It's just short of 1,000 miles, it's not too far. Not too far. Uh, no, but it is pretty far actually, it'd be the hardest thing I've ever done. the country and back. Yeah, so we're riding from London to Edinburgh, back to London in five days. Um, and he's doing it for charity as well, which is a charity close to your heart, isn't it, and your yeah, friend? Yeah, combat stress. Um, so me and the guy doing it, we're both ex-military. Combat stress is a charity that helps raise awareness and offer to support for um, former military people, people in the military who obviously struggle. Suffer, mm -hmm. suffer from uh, um, the effects of stress and the sort of things you might see in a, in a war zone or just to be honest, any of that sort of uh, mm. mental health um, yes. issues that can become prevalent in that sort of job and what you can do. So, mm. yeah, I'll so. leave a link for you guys actually in the description bar if you'd be so kind to sponsor him, even like a few pennies is, yeah. makes it, a difference. It, literally anything helps, even as a pound, a pound helps, it all goes to the right yeah. sort of thing. So. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great cause and we're going to have to do some serious work. Mm, um, so much training. Yeah, and we're going to find other interesting ways to try and raise money as well. So you, one of these things that you might be able to see. Right Dennis and Menace. Dennis and Menace sucks. I was more focusing on the furry. Oh my god. I would. I love my furry legs a lot, to be honest. Gonna... I would, do you know for you charity. Do you ask your wife first? I would, for charity, be open if I could get raise enough money to wax in these bad boys. That is a hairy leg. And that is a hairy leg. And I'd let people film it and watch my pain <laughs> if it will raise money for a good cause. I'm not doing it if it's for a fiver. No. Um, but I would be open money. to it. And any sort of, I will think of other ways that we can try That's and That's why you want to ideas for donations, actually. Oh, sorry, fundraising. And I did it. It's hard. It's hard. And obviously, Stu's actually done loads of charity stuff before. Yeah, and so and people, when I come knocking, harder. people are like, oh, it's him again. Even though the Here event is. is like mega and you've never done anything this hard. No, this would be the hardest thing by a long way, to be honest. People do. Um, yeah, it's a bit like a fundraising fatigue, they call it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're doing an amazing job. And that's why I'm dressed like this. I don't just hang around the house like this. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get on with the haul, shall we? I'll tell you what I need to show you first before it melts is, or well, this is one, oh, it's actually really melted already. Goodness, salted caramel ice cream. I'll show you the receipts, so you can screenshot. And also some turkey dinos, a little bit of freezer tapas. I know it's not gourmet food, but sometimes you just need to chuck stuff in the air fryer or the oven and serve it up. So yeah, freezer tapas, got those two. I'm gonna put these away and be back. So thankfully Stu was there. He came with me on his lunch break and thank the Lord because I could not have carried all this stuff and I would not ever normally spend this much money or buy this much stuff. But I think, yeah, I just wanted to get these storagey bits. So let me show you those. I'm gonna use these in my bathroom cupboards because my stuff is everywhere and it, it makes me like really annoyed every morning because all of my stuff, let me just get you down a little bit. All of my stuff is just like cluttered everywhere. So I'm hoping these are gonna get me a little bit more organized. I'll probably do an organize with me video coming up soon so don't forget to subscribe guys you don't miss it and this one as well i thought would be quite good for brushes and like my sponge and stuff because again they're just everywhere and actually they're ruining my makeup bags like my nice bags because they're just everywhere so that's the bathroom i got this towel for the downstairs toilet which was i think like 199 just a little hand towel because i'm not sure what color would go in there but pink one at the moment because it's like a marble color in there but I think that would just go quite nicely. And then for our bathroom, I got this memory phone in this colour because our bathroom is like really, really dark and it's got flecks of this colour through the tile and the taps are gold. So I feel like that would probably be quite a nice colour. Um, I don't know really why you need memory foam for a bath mat, but there we are. It was 3 dollars um, I'm going to run out of space, aren't I, guys? I showed you all this. So I'm just going to go through, check if I've not got any. Oh, yeah. And I also bought these for my underwear drawer. So there's five, oh, six in there. And they're all different shapes and sizes. And I just think these are gonna be more, I think these are gonna be more inexpensive, better value than Ikea. So I'm gonna try those out in my drawers. Um, these like random cloths, they're like in a, like look like it's come from a market. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but they were the only smaller pack of microfiber cloths. They had massive towels in there, but I just feel like these don't smell as quickly. Like you can wash them and they come up quite nice. Whereas sometimes with like the spongy cloth, it doesn't st it stink so quickly. Right, um, I've seen, I think maybe four of these. So for each bathroom, one for down here. Um, I th what I wanna do, is decant these into something pretty. So I need to find some nice hand dispensers, hand wash dispensers. <laughs> they don't dispense hands. Um, and then, yeah, put those in there because I just feel like it just looks nicer on the side. But that's another day when we can afford it at the moment. We are just trying to save, like, recover a little bit financially because it's spendy moving out, let me tell you. I am actually a little bit worried about money at the moment, but I think just because work's been so quiet, we've spent so much money on the house, and I always like was so focused on getting the deposit for the house that suddenly I'm like, oh my God, I need to pay for it now. And it's obviously a huge mortgage. So anyway, we'll be fine. It's just time-wise, it's just a bit tight. Um, I bought a couple of these because their bottles have like just lost the will to live. But I'm always conscious that I want to get ones that you can clean easily. So these ones look quite good to be able to clean, although they're the same. So they're gonna not know which one's which. I've got two of those. Cards, cards, always got these sorts of cards in the drawer for children's friends' birthday parties that we're now getting back invited to now that lockdown's done and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so much to say, it must be on offer. Uh, coffee, that's for stew, obviously I'm decaf only. These actually, we got the other day, I know this is the epitome of laziness, I'm well aware of that, but literally sometimes you just need like a really quick five minute thing, um, and the children really love this, and often we do it with like a, something that we've already cooked, like if we've had like chicken at the weekend, at the roast dinner, we'll pop it in the microwave and it's done, 90 seconds, and you've got a meal with some veggies and some salad sort of stuff. So yeah, don't judge, no judges here guys. These are Stu's protein bars, I've got three of those, three packs of those, three in each. Didn't know we bought those. Oh, that's for movie night, these are for movie night snacks. 
Mama gets hold of them. What are these? Doritos Stacks Ultimate Cheese. Beef stew, I think. Actually, George would do that though. Twix. Twix is so underrated. Love those. Um, a nail varnish remover, which I really need because I've run out and I had to pick my nail varnish off last time. I've not had gels for ages, saving money. Um, and I've really, really missed them, but I painted my nails last night and um, just like a nothing special colour. I don't think that's what it's called. Now, we were going to get the Bassett's Jelly. Um, I'll show you. All right. Oh, baby. Oh, we didn't buy them this time because um, they must have them. But the children's jelly ones, and we looked and we just said, let's just buy these. They're like two pounds cheaper, and it's probably the same stuff. You know, let me know what vitamins you recommend. I feel like I'm trying to heal everything at the moment. Uh, this is a really good value. 30 plus 33, that's such a good value. So I'll probably put that into the box that we've got. In fact, that could quite be quite nice in a little tin box, like with a lid. Zero Coke Zero, apparently, she's so got. And then some random peanuts. So that's that bag. Right? And then, like, more cleaning stuff. This stuff is amazing. I find, like, I try to do it with vinegar and lemon. It doesn't seem to cut, like, make the cut. It just, our kettle is always so badly scaled. These just keep the toilet smelling nice. Got the Zoe flow. I thought this flavour would be nice. Mandarin and lime. And these look like the replacements for the Libwitz Libids, which I really like, but I've not seen this brand before, so I'll report that. Oh, there's the next. Um, fruit winders, which are better value than the targets. And then we've got Cowpol and Neurofen. We've run out of Neurofen, and we always need them to have Cowpol, just like make sure we haven't run out. Um, so much cheaper in home bargains. These as well, I wanted to get the actual magic razors, but they only had the flash ones, so hopefully they last as well. They're a bit thinner. I've got a couple of like walls that have got paint um, scuffs on from where they've obviously moved out, so I want to try and give that a nice clean up. Um, and then, yeah, some dishmatic heads, sh um, you know, scrubber heads, um, some pseudocrim because all the pseudocrim I have is from when the children were in nappies which is about eight years ago. So I feel like that it's run out in like 2017. So I thought I'm gonna treat myself. I got the small one um, and this one was £1.89. And then just a few little bits and bobs here. These for little Maggie down. Oh, and some deodorant as well, Stuart. Where is the receipt? Do we know? Let me find that. Most expensive things on there were the cow pole, three twenty nine, or oh, eight ninety nine. Oh, that was the Carlsberg. Oh, I didn't show you that. You would have seen it on the video coming back. Carlsberg, eight ninety nine. It's twelve ninety nine Asda. Uh, Six forty nine with a fairy sixty pound sixty washing up liquid things, um, and then four ninety nine for the large three piece set. Um, and oh my gosh, she's charged us twice, guys. <gasps> she's charged us for two hand towels and two memory foam bath mats. I'm gonna have to go back there, aren't I? This is not okay. <laughs> Good at this. I just realized I didn't say the amount because I was too worried about them um, telling me, like them charging me twice. I just phoned them by the way and they were like, absolutely fine, don't worry, come down and get a refund. Um, so we spent, Get, get this right in a minute. Um, 90 pounds, 11 pence. Very expensive, but I feel like I got some things that we'd needed. The beers were 10, nine pounds. The storage was like almost 10 pounds. Oh, I didn't actually see how much they, oh, fabric organizer was 4.99. So I spent like 15 pounds on storage uh, and then 10 pounds on beers. So 70 pounds on all of this. I feel like I got a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to check out more videos from me and I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye.